welcome back. I'm Andrea Jean and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use baking soda for mattress cleaning. This method is going to be super easy and in fact you probably have some of this laying around in your kitchen if not your refrigerator already. After all this channel is all about cleaning and organizing for busy women so if you haven't subscribed make sure that you do so you do not miss any weekly uploads and if you enjoy the video be sure to give it a thumbs up. I feel just a little bit guilty because my husband did end up making the bed today, but we're going to go ahead and strip it all off and get to work and we'll leave it at the end for him. So what's really disgusting is that we sweat a pretty significant amount every single night. And even though you may have a mattress pad, which is awesome, it still can seep through, especially night after night. So this is going to be really effective when it comes to deodorizing and removing any moisture. We do not want any sort of moisture when it's in our mattress because that's where things like to live and breed. Also, there are a ton of dead skin cells that can seep through and that can lead to a lot of allergens and respiratory issues. And so doing this method as often as you can, I think is really helpful. So this is the mattress pad that I use. It's nothing fancy. I probably got it at Target or Walmart, but there is a whole market out there for various mattress pads. We're going to take a look at the mattress and see what it looks like, see if there's any stains on here. I'm not seeing any, which is good. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and wash all of this up. The recommendation is that you do change your sheets every single week. The next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and vacuum up this mattress. I'm going to actually remove all the attachments that you'll see here because I want it to be the most sucky possible. I know that sounds crazy, but when I have attachments on it, my particular vacuum doesn't suck up as well. And I really want to get everything down in the cracks as best I possibly can to remove all of those dead skin cells. Yuck. What you want to be sure to do is make sure that you are getting deep in the cracks of all areas of your mattress, especially around the perimeter as well. Now that you got your mattress all vacuumed up, you're going to go ahead and take your baking soda and sprinkle as much as you want all over your mattress. There is no specific recommendation. You can be as liberal, as generous as you want. So I'm actually going to put quite a bit on here. This box is pretty much full. So what? let's see how much I end up using at the end. So I have used about a half a box here and again you can use as much or as little as you want. The next step is you're going to take a brush or in this case I am just going to use my hand and you're going to want to spread the baking soda or sodium bicarbonate all across your mattress so that it is evenly distributed as much as you can. Now some say that you should let it sit for four hours, some say it should be 24 hours. I say let it sit as long as you possibly can because I know you are all busy and a lot of times you can't let it sit for a whole 24 hours so do the best that you can. All right, you can see here that I got the majority of the baking soda spread, hopefully evenly across the mattress. It is a little bit tricky to tell on mine because it is pretty white. And it's not because this is a brand new mattress. In fact, this is several years old. But some tips and tricks to keeping it nice is one, having a mattress cover, two, flipping your mattress every so often so that the weight of your bed is evenly distributed across the mattress here and that it will extend the life of the mattress. And I keep up with it. We don't eat in bed. Um, just those general things that really help keep basically anything clean and white will help you.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and let the baking soda sit for four hours. I'm gonna wash all of my linens up, including this mattress cover, and I do wash the quilt as well. In fact, I'd like to switch out my quilt for a duvet cover. If you yourself have a duvet cover and you're looking for the best way to put it on, I actually have a whole video dedicated to that. It's called the California Roll. It is super fun. I will link that video in the description box as well to help you put your duvet cover on most effectively. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this load right here really quick we'll wash the rest of them later one recommendation especially if you're wanting to sanitize is make sure that you put your wash setting on the hottest temperature possible now that's been sitting for about four hours i'm going to go ahead and vacuum it all up now if you're looking for some additional cleaning motivation and clean with me videos i have a ton of them on my channel it's like your very own cleaning buddy kind of like a workout buddy it is way more fun cleaning with someone else so take me with you as you sprint clean with andrea jean all right time to vacuum As a bonus, you could add some essential oils to the baking soda if you wanna add just a little something extra, a little eucalyptus or a little lavender, your choice, whatever you like. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below as well. Have you tried this method or are you going to be doing this super easy method with one ingredient, baking soda? Subscribe if you're new and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.